Hey guys, Jacob Dupre right here today. I'm very excited to be showing you the Novation 61 SL MK3. Now Novation called their MK2 the daddy of professional USB MIDI controllers. So if that's true, I would say this is like the granddaddy or the big daddy, cause it's even better. It's got a host of really exciting features that make it one of the most versatile MIDI controllers out there. So I'm really excited to tell you about it. Let's go right into it. One of the coolest features about this controller, which a lot of you synth nerds out there will really love, is the CV and gate one and two. It also has a clock out right here next to that. So that allows me to do what I'm doing now, which is to have the Pittsburgh rig controlled with the MIDI keyboard. And then I also have modulation set to control FM on the two oscillators. So just to give you a taste. Using the Pittsburgh rig I have over here, I want to show you the next really cool feature, which is the onboard sequencer. So you get 16 steps on the squares here, which light up. And right now I'll say I want to make a sequence. So the way you do it is you hold down a square and you press a note. Now it's recorded to that square. If I want to preview it, preview that, I can press it and it'll play back. So I'm going to go ahead and fill out all 16 steps to make a sequence, like so. So now when I click play, if I ever want to get rid of one square, hold down clear, I can take notes out. The other cool thing to note is when you preview the square, you can see the keyboard lighting up and you can see each note. And if you play chords, so if I wanted to add a chord to this one, even though this is monophonic, chord right there, if I want to take it away, now it's gone. The other cool thing is you can go into patterns and now you can have any one of these saved with a separate sequence and as you change squares it'll call up a new sequence. You can even go to sessions and that's even like a step back and now I can go between sessions that contain patterns and then you go into the steps into the individual sequences. So actually in sessions one, if I click session one that loads that and here's a sequence that I've already saved into the keyboard. The sequence that I called up from that session, I've already kind of had some time to tweak it and change it. So you can hear that some of the notes are shorter than the others. That's because I've adjusted the gate. And you can adjust the velocity gate and the pattern for each one. You can, you know, a forward pattern, you can go to reverse, you can ping pong it. There are different options there. But for the gate, and I want to say too about this keyboard, one of the things that makes it really cool is the live feedback you get every time you change a setting, you move a knob, a fader, you will get it on the screen, you will see what you're changing. Another thing to mention is, you know, you get 16 steps in one sequence, but you can actually link them together. So if I go to patterns, so each one of these squares represents one sequence, if I hold them down together, now those four blue lights lit up means that when I press play, it will continue playing through all four of those. So that, that would give me 64 steps in the sequence. Each one can be different. Two other features worth mentioning are the scales and zones. So scales will let you snap the keyboard to different scales and the lights will show up and show you that scale or you can just have every note snap to the scale. Kind of typical features for uh, scales. So right now, natural minor, it's on. I could change it to major, Dorian, Phrygian, Mixolydian. So that. There's also zones. Now zones is really cool because it allows you to split the keyboard, but you can split it in as many as eight parts if you want to, eight different zones. And you can also change, so here I'm changing which, which instrument is going to change, which changes the color. You can also change the low key, the high key of the zone. And 
Another thing that's really cool is that I can change the expression pedal, sustain pedal, or foot switch for each zone. So say I have a, a keyboard right here and I want the sustain pedal to work, but I don't, I have a synth down here and I don't want sustain, you can switch them on and off for each zone. So that's totally useful for live performance. The last thing that makes the MK3 really, really cool is its ability to control DAWs. So I have a controlling Ableton right now, and if you're in the sequencer, like right here, and you want to go to control your DAW, you click in control, and I've already set it up, so the scripts are in there, everything's set up and mapped out. So now I'm here, and all my instruments, each track, I have one, two, three, four, five, six tracks in Ableton, and I can go through, I can mute and solo them over here, so this would mute solo. I can also go down and arm each track. So the first track is uh, VPS Avenger, Vengeance Avenger Synth. So I have that armed. Then I can go arm the Pittsburgh rig if I want. I also have Damage, which is those kind of crazy crunchy drums that uh, Native Instruments put together. And I also have a vocal track and I'll show you in a second how you can change settings in that track because I have some cool chorus and things going on on that. The Pittsburgh rig again, and you can also arm two tracks at once. So I have the Nord, which I'm controlling coming out of the MIDI right here. So say I want to play this and the Nord at the same time, hold them both down. So really cool, I can get that sound. The faders down here will change the volume. So, and you can also control effects. So as I was saying with the vocal track, when I click on vocal, you can see these knobs come up. I don't have any effects on the other instruments. So, but when I click vocal, this is set on the ping pong delay that I have set. Doesn't feel right, doesn't feel right. My back is sore, back is sore, back is sore. Doesn't so that's controlling the ping pong that I, delay that I have set as a device on that track. It's so great. It's so great to have a DAW at your fingertips, minimal time looking at the screen, more time just making music. You can control your transport features in your DAW as well from the keyboard. So if you can see right here, fast forwarding back and forth, playing. Doesn't feel right, doesn't feel right. Stop, I can click stop again to go back to the beginning. Fast forward to a specific point in the project. Turn the loop on and off, and of course record, which will start a click and allow you to record your project. Something else worth mentioning is that while I'm using it with Ableton, it does work with other DAWs, of course. So Logic, Reason users, uh, Pro Tools, you all can benefit from the functionality that allows you to control your DAW on the MK3. This has been a look at the Novation 61 SL MK3 MIDI controller. Hope you've enjoyed checking it out. If you have any more questions about it, feel free to call your Sweetwater sales engineer. They'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching. Doesn't feel right, doesn't feel right. Back is all.